Hey everybody, Haku here with my unboxing for the Jolteon figure from An Afternoon with Evie and Friends. Sorry, trying to get a good shot of it without uh, my lights reflecting off of it any direction or anything. Um, but yeah, let me unbox this and show it to all of you. Um, I've been sharing all of these if you want to see me opening all the rest of them, except for the Eevee that I didn't get. Um, you would be able to see him in the background if I was at my other setup, but I decided that I didn't want to break out the entire other setup just to record this one video. Um, so, hold on, hopefully that's not too loud. Uh, especially when the other camera is a little bit better, but even with this webcam, I'm still going to be holding it up really close so you can see. Oh yeah, that looks good. When the lighting adjusts. I actually really, really like the way this one looks, more than I thought I would. I don't know if it was just their uh, pictures they had on Pokemon Center, but uh, I was thinking, when I first saw this one, that it didn't look quite... Hold on, let me see. Yeah, I get the lighting to adjust. I didn't think um, it looked quite as good as the others, but then actually receiving it and like seeing it in person in that box, I was like, okay, no, it actually looks a lot better than I was anticipating. Um, and I actually really like it. I do think, though, that compared to the others, even though Jolteon is kind of on the upper end of one of my favorite evolutions, this might be one of the weaker figures. And even then, it's still super nice. You still have this nice grass and sand... Um, sort of uh, environment here, but the others felt like there was a lot more going on. The waterfall one and the water with the Vaporeon one is awesome. I love the flames and the um, and the berries and everything going on with the Flareon one. Uh, even the Sylveon one had a couple larger flowers, um, and the Espeon one's actually really cool. There's a little bit of water, there's the rock, there's the grass, uh, same with the water and the ice and the snow and the Glaceon one's awesome. So compared to all that, I feel like they could have had maybe some sparks coming off of Jolteon, maybe something else here. Like, don't get me wrong, it's still an awesome, awesome figure. Uh, and again, I love that it's just not it's not just a normal base, but it's this really cool environment that fits in with all the others. I just wish there was maybe a little something here, maybe a more dynamic pose, maybe again, like I said, some sparks coming off of them, but there really isn't. It's just Jolteon, which is again cool on its own, but compared to the others, the others have a lot more going on. Um, so, I don't know. It does have a lot less going on, but I'm excited for the next two. I'm excited to see what they do with Leafeon when that one gets shown off, because I feel like they could... I don't know from the silhouette, it doesn't really look like they might have a tree or anything, but they could do like a tree or bushes, or they could do something cool with Leafeon. But Umbreon especially, it seems like it has this cool silhouette going on. So when they unveil that, and of course I, like many of you, probably love Umbreon. So I'm really excited for how the Umbreon one is going to look. Uh, now, with the past two, I got a second uh, figure and did a second unboxing, but for this one, I wanted to save a little bit of money, so I didn't. I just got a Corviknight pin instead, and I'm going to use that to segue really quick into me ending this video by telling you there's more Pokemon videos coming other than these unboxings, because something I've been wanting to do for a while that I just haven't had time to do, and I still really don't have time to do, but it's it's basically in my head. It's on my list of things to do as soon as I get time. I want to do just a gigantic tier list. Either I will do it a gigantic tier list of every Pokemon, but I'll just do it one generation at a time. Like, I'll add Gen 1 onto the list, then add Gen 2 onto the list, and do that at a time so that it's not like a 20-hour long video. Instead, it's eight, maybe one-ish hour long videos. Um, they'd still be super long. Uh, or if I did it as a stream, they'd be like one hour or so streams instead of um, just, again, 20-some hours. It would take a long time to go through every single Pokemon and discuss them. It would take a ridiculous amount. So I'm going to split it up by generations. I don't, know if there, I don't know if it's possible to do a tier list large enough for every Pokemon, so I might just have to do a Gen 1 tier list, a Gen 2 tier list, uh, but if I can do it as one giant one, I'll do it that way, and I'll just do it like one generation at a time. But uh, yeah, 
I'm going to end you on that thought for the future. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, follow on Twitter if you want, and if you want to link to the Discord server asking, I'll give you one. If you want to help support the channel on Patreon to help me keep making these videos, it's patreon.com slash taku of the tubes, or a link will be in the description. But that is it. Thank you so much for watching again, and I'll see you all next time.